Hello everyone. I'm going to be walking you through completing the calbaptist.teradata.com online forms needed to um, travel off campus for, for um, the College of Behavioral Sciences. Specifically, uh, this video is for the DSW program. So make sure you guys go to calbaptist.teradata.com. Um, once you guys get on this, this page, you're going to click on domestic travel. So just click on the picture. You're going to scroll down and find your program. And again, we're, we're, we're only covering the DSW program today. Uh, but if you're part of a different program, you can find your uh, program in this list as well. So scroll down to DSW residency activities. And you're going to want to click start CVU forms. It's going to ask you if you want to create an application say okay now typically uh, it's going to have you log in and you're going to log in using your lancer username and password once you've done that um, if you guys have any issues if you're not able to log in you can um, reach out to us and we'll definitely uh, find out what the issue is even give you a temporary password but assuming you're successful and you're into the program um, you're going to want to click the correct term. So in this case, fall 2020, select continue. It's going to take a second to load, but you're going to want to click on, um, you'll see this, this screen now with application deadline. You'll see the name of the program at the top. You're going to want to, going to, want to click on get started. So um, it's going to ask you if you anticipate driving yourself at any point. So when you're thinking about these activities, CBU provides transportation. Typically, if there's a shuttle or a bus, and that's really what we encourage all students to take part part in. That's provided, so you might as well, you know, um, just enjoy that and make use of it. But say you decide to drive yourself, you're you're going to click on yes. Um, this is really important. If you click on yes, there's going to be a whole other drop down that I'll show you in a second that you have to fill out. So if you're really not going to drive yourself, click no, it's going to save you some time. But assuming, or let's say in this case that you're, you're going to be driving yourself to the, the different um, areas for this activity, click on yes. You're going to want to enter your driver's license number. So um, just for this, I'm, I'm going to just enter A. A. I'm not going to fill these out. I'm going to enter a date. Um, it's going to have you upload your driver's license from your computer, vehicle license number, your make, the, the vehicle's make, registration expiration, the owner. You're going to have to upload a proof of insurance and the name of the vehicle insurance provider. So uh, make sure that you click save. Go to the second part. Um, insurance policy number, date that the insurance expires, it's having you certify that you're at least 18 years of age, that you don't have any warrants, that you're going to report your accidents, um, that you have coverage, so you want to make sure that you have insurance coverage, and uh, what does that insurance include? So. I'm either going to sit, click save if I want to go back. Maybe I need to have some information I still need to collect. Um, you'll hit save. If not, click on done. Oh, look, it seems that I uh, have some things I still need to upload. So I'm going to click save. Um, maybe I'll go back and just upload those forms really quick. So for the purpose of this video, I am just going to upload a couple random forms that don't have anything to do with anything, but it will help me complete this to show you guys. I'll click on done. Now you'll notice that that's been checked off with a green check mark. You know you, you're complete with that. Um, you don't have to do anything else. And again, you can still go back there and edit it. Just remember to save and click done as well. So uh, the next step is going to be emergency information. So we're going to want, the school is going to want emergency contacts, um, cell numbers, so basically two contacts, they want to know about, you know, any allergies, prescriptions, medical information. So this is, a, this is if there was an accident, something were to happen, we would have this on file. 
um, the school would be aware. We could report this, you know, to the hospital or um, it's just it's just to make it, you know, just to prepare and, and make students safe. So I, I'm also going to just fill out just put a placeholder in this just for the purpose of this video. I'm going to click on done. And you'll see that if I scroll to the top, that's been marked completed as well. So there's a check mark. Now I'm going to read through the travel release of liability. You want to make sure that you kind of pay attention to everything on here. Um, it will ask to sign, so you'll sign that. And if you go to the top, You'll see that that's been marked off with a green check mark as well. So you know that you've completed all of those steps. You can see that there's an edit pencil on each one of these and there's also um, an eye icon which allows you to go in there and click and look at what you filled out. So now that you've filled out all of that, you're going to want to go to the top and click submit your application. What's that going to, that, what, what that, that's going to do is just let the administrators know that you've completed all your forms, you'll be marked as accepted, and you're done. Um, you typically, you'll get a message about participating in this program. Do you choose to commit or decline? Don't worry about that. That's really uh, just something extra. It's not important. 